Hi boys and girls. So we will be starting our next lesson here in chapter 19, your solid shapes. Now you boys and girls actually already did solid shapes and you went on a solid shape hunt last um, chapter. So you should be very familiar with these solid shapes. But in this chapter, not only are you going to have to identify the solid shapes, but also you need to be able to understand that it has each, I'm sorry, each shape, each solid shape has faces, okay, or flat surfaces. That is the new vocabulary word here. So we have different solid shapes, boys and girls. And again, you can actually find a lot of these solid shapes in your home right now. We have cubes. Rectangular prism, cone, cylinder, and pyramid. Okay, friends? I just want to show you really quickly Miss Lespiza's solid shapes that she found in her own home. And then we're going to talk about how there are models of the solid shapes and let's practice identifying them. So here we have the first solid shape, which is a cube. So a cube could be like a tissue box is a great example. Okay, and the cube here has a certain amount of solid shapes. When Miss Lespiza tries to count the solid shapes, it's very important that you boys and girls remember where you started and you don't want to overcount them. It means that you won't want to count them again. So let's practice counting them with Miss Lespiza. I'm going to take a highlighter and I'm going to put it where I'm starting to count. That way I don't miscount and count the same face means the flat surface again. So let's count how many flat surfaces are on this cube. Ready? We have one, two, three, four. Oh, that means I already counted because I'm putting my marker here. So I'm going to go to the top, which is five, six. There are six flat surfaces on a cube. Okay, and notice in a cube, they're all the same size or equal size. So that's very important. Again, take like a marker or take like a sticker, friends. Put it where you start so that way you don't miscount them. Here's another solid sheet. You boys and girls know this one. It's a sphere. This one has no flat surfaces. We also have a rectangular prism. Here's Mrs. Lesbizas. It is a solid shape and you notice here my two top surfaces here are longer compared to my end surfaces. And then I finally have another solid shape. Yes, it's a salsa jar, but here I have a cylinder. It's flat surface on the top and flat surface on the bottom, boys and girls. So boys and girls, those are some solid shapes that you can find throughout your house. Some of you boys and girls might be able to find some cones and some pyramids in your house as well. So boys and girls, today you will be working on identifying solid shapes through a model. Okay, so if you notice here, I have a model and this has three different solid shapes. We have two cylinders two cones, one rectangular prism. Let's do another model together. Okay, oops, I'm sorry boys and girls. Here we go, here's a good model here. So let's see how many solid shapes are in this model. Hmm, well, I see, what do you see boys and girls? I like the hands, I like how friends raise your hands too. I see a cone, I see two cones. Good, two cylinders. Ooh, what is this here? Two rectangular prisms. And let's see, one, two, three, four cubes, boys and girls. So there are a lot of models, okay, here that have solid shapes. What you're going to do for today's math assignment is you will be going to turn to page 243 and you need to write the number of solid shapes used in each model. So here is model A. So right here, 
you will see the different solid shapes. You need to tell Miss Lespiza how many solid shapes are in each model. Now, if you notice, some models don't have all of the solid shapes. So what number should we put? Very good, we should put a zero here. And then today you're also going to do workbook page 244. And what you're going to do is look at this cube here. Now, if you see this cube, you're gonna say how many faces do you see on this cube? But sometimes Ms. Lispiza has trouble seeing it on the computer. Take something that's a cube in your house and actually count the, uh, the faces on your cube. Okay, boys and girls. So I hope this little video helps you boys and girls understand um, all the solid shapes and we will be focusing on that today. Have a great day. Bye.